You guys have, are not new to reality TV, you know? It, it's some people who especially watch Beverly Hills have literally seen you, you grow up. Um, has there ever been a part where you're like, in this for you too, Mauricio, where you're like, you know what? I don't know if I want to keep doing reality. And then why would you, why did you decide that you then want to do this or continue with this show as well? Girls? Mm -hmm. um, well, I think that being part of um, Real House of Beverly Hills was more my mom's thing. Yeah. They lived at home, so I wasn't really that much involved in it. Mm -hmm. Beverly, buying Beverly Hills came along, and it seemed just like, you know, a once in a lifetime opportunity. Who knows where this could go? Who knows where this could take us with our business? Um, we, this is a real estate focused show. Of course, this year things kind of changed a little, and part of our personal lives is, it's inevitably part of our lives. But at the end of the day, you know, I think that we just want this to be great for our company and for business. And um, I think it's more of a question of, the other show is mm -hmm. the issue, right. <laughs> maybe. And for this one, it's, it's, it's exciting. It's not supposed to be based on drama and be so heavy. We're, we're here to sell real estate and teach mm -hmm. people um, about real estate. So mm -hmm. that's what our focus is. Yeah, from my perspective, I just wanted to create a show that was, you know, gave lessons. Um, whatever that means, life lessons, uh, real estate lessons, business lessons. I mean, I remember receiving an email from a CEO of a Fortune 500 company saying to me after season one, saying, thank you so much. I got the chance to see how you um, um, interacted with your daughters, and it actually helped me uh, interact with my daughter um, and watching what you're doing. And I just loved, you know, getting that, you know, an email like that. Um, and, uh, and it was just so awesome. Uh, from my perspective, yeah, sometimes I feel like, oh, the, the public eye and just all the scrutiny and, you know, particularly right now going through the separation with Kyle, um, speculation, scrutiny and all of that, it's, it's, it's annoying. Uh, but at the end of the day, we've been on television for so many years um, and I really wanted to create, you know, a really fun, um, you know, real estate porn show that was exciting and that people could learn from. Do you ever feel like it's hard to say how you feel or give your opinion because it's like as soon as you say something you may wake up and there is like a headline about it and is there anything that you've said that you regret or maybe wish you didn't say oh i'm sure there's plenty of things that i've said that i regret and wish i didn't say and uh you know it just happens all the time uh, i can't think of one particular thing right now um uh, but it happens all the time and and yeah it's very difficult that it's just you know so much all, all of those you know eyeballs and um, you know, not being able to live, you know, under any sort of privacy or anything like that. That's definitely a very, uh, a huge sacrifice that I think we all, you know, accept, you know, when we want to be on reality television. And it's a sacrifice that I think um, anybody on, on reality television, on any show, um, has to make in order to, you know, to, to do it. So it's tough. When families go through stuff, you know, we normally get to go through it in the privacy of our own home, um, unless, you know, people say things on social media but for the most part it's between you and your small group of people um but for you guys it's different is it hard for you to see things that go on with your parents or to have these conversations on television or are you okay with being able to open up that part of your lives as well as other parts i feel like this whole thing kind of unfolded in the middle of filming so it would have felt weird to continue filming and pretending like our lives didn't just change so much yeah. and so it almost felt natural to open up about it on the show but then I think hearing everyone's responses to that is just so hard because you really can't do anything right like on the housewives everyone is like you need to share more you're being so closed off and then we open up on this show and everyone's like this should have been handled privately at home like there's just no right way to handle it and so that's probably the worst part about all of it i just wish everyone was like nice and empathetic that would make it a lot easier i feel like i'd be a terrible realtor working in real estate it's not my thing when did you know that your your girls had it? it could be a well, interestingly business. enough, I didn't push any of them to get okay. into real estate. Like they all went to college, they all did their own thing. They, I never asked them, I never pushed them, and each one individually as they came out of college. Um, and I would say to them, "All right, guys, have you decided what you're going to do with your you know with your life?" They each one individually, just one by one, said, "Well, I'd like to." get into real estate with you and I'd like yeah. to get into real estate with you and now we have, you know. You sort of recruited me. I <laughs> did. <That's not> true. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, we were at Medeo's 
Yes, and I was deciding if I wanted to go to school mm -hmm. for psychology, and you said, I think that you should come work with me because I had already interned with him over the summers nice. in oh, real cool. estate. I didn't remember that, but I the other two, gonna... the other yes, two. Yes, that's true. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, you did. So sell gonna, me on it. We're going to pretend dad's not here for a second. What is the <laughs> best part of working with your father? And then what is something that you guys struggle with the most? He's not mm. here. Yeah. I definitely <laughs> struggle taking orders. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like at okay. home, I'm the boss of him. Okay. And so in the office, he's the boss. So I have to listen to what he says, and that is definitely a struggle for me. But I also do love it. It's brought us so much closer, and we have the best time together at work. So it's been great and not easy yeah. at the same time. <laughs> Anything from the The best part is just, I always say this, but just being like a sponge. I just soak up. I just like to be in proximity, learn from him. I picked up so many things. The way he interacts with people, I mean, we're in such a privileged position to be in this close of proximity to him. The worst thing I would say would be, the guy's really busy, and sometimes, you know, there's the priority list is so long, and you know, we're families, so yeah. sometimes we're probably, you know, maybe not the first call when it comes to work stuff. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If it's other stuff, then of course, we're at the top of the list. Mm -hmm. I think the most exciting part about it for me is that I do get very nostalgic and full of pride when I look at what we've accomplished and the culture we have and the friendships we have and our office and how much fun I have every day. And I can literally look back and remember when it was just an idea at home. And I feel like I got to see it from the behind the scenes from the very, very, very beginning. So. That to me is so special and so beautiful. And I, I, would, I agree with Farah. The, the most difficult part is that, you know, we are the sister, we are, we are the daughters, and it's kind of like, oh, I'll talk to him when I get home. But then, you know, we're not allowed to talk business at the dinner table. So, you know. That's not a bad rule, though, I feel like. It's a way to separate. Yeah. We try you know, not to. Yeah. It's not a rule that we follow. Okay. It's, we try. <laughs> we we do a good job at yeah. You know, yeah. we, we get. Yeah. You know, we get stopped by mom and Portia. I feel like you're eventually. as busy as like the president. I always yeah. Do. Okay. <laughs> He's crazy busy. S speaking of your mom, I saw her at the Elton John party, and oh. I said, "Your your girls are in the business." And then you have another daughter who's also you know joined on. How do you feel about this? And she said she was a little nervous at first. I let her know I was going to be speaking to you guys. She was a little nervous at first, but she is so proud of you guys. Is there any advice that you get from her? Like if you don't want to like talk to your dad about something do you go to her or is there anything that she's kind of like told you she's definitely been very helpful when it comes to well this is my first season filming the show yeah. so I feel like she was my go-to person whenever I needed advice about that interview when we would sit down and do interviews for the show I would literally cry because I hate <laughs> interviews I hate being put on the spot so she would always just calm me down and make me feel so much better in my last question um a part of you know going to the office there's other people in the office too and i just gotta ask marisa what are your thoughts on workplace romance and things that may happen in the office as a boss as a boss as uh, a boss as the, the head of the hey, company just as long as it's yeah. it's you know it's healthy and there's no uh, there's nothing going on that mm -hmm. uh, that, that that is unhealthy or, or wrong mm -hmm. uh, from an hr perspective yeah. <laughs> um that's all i really care about and you know Look, I think office romances happen all the time. I mean, you're together with somebody, you're, 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 you're working with them, you're spending most of your life with you know, people like that. That's how people meet each other. So it's part, you know, at the end of the day, you're gonna meet each other and you're gonna meet people and sometimes you're gonna spark a romance. Mm -hmm. Better in real life than on the internet, right? That's it for sure. It's a little tough. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, a little tough. It was great to meet you guys and great to see you again. Thank and you. Um, Thank you so yeah, much. excited to keep watching the show. Thank you. Yeah. Until next time.